So hello everyone, I'm Shreyst. I'm a software development engineer. So uh, we are starting with this lead code premium top interview problem series. We'll be discussing each and every problem which are mentioned on the lead code top interviews. And also this will help you to crack your next coding interview in the top notch product based company. So let's start with the problem. Uh, today we look at this problem that is power 2 it is part of lead code and we will see a very intuitive recursive solution for this problem okay. so let's start uh, so it says that we have been given an integer array uh, not an integer array sorry we have been given integer and we have to return true only if it is a power of 2 okay so let's consider some test case so let's say n is given to us as n is given to us 16 so it is a power of 2 how will we check it is a power of 2 or not simply what we'll do we will continuously reduce its value by 2 this will become 8 it will 4 this will give 2 and this will 1 so if 1 is achieved okay we will just return true how will we do this we will achieve this with the help of recursion okay so this is one thing and if let's say n mod 2 is not equals to 0 we have to return false because obviously it is not even it will be odd and same goes for this condition if it is less than or equal to 0 it is not a power of 2 no so let's code it and it will give you a better insight how this will work so first we'll write the base case that if n is equals to is equals to n okay what we'll do we'll just return true we'll return true okay now n mod 2 is not equals to 0 or n is less than equals to 0 we will simply return false else in the recursive function what we will write is let me just copy it from here only what we will do we will pass n divided by 2 every time I think this will be good so let's run it so it will be returned hmm. so it got accepted uh, try to submit this problem it was a very intuitive problem and there are few follow-up problems for this okay you can check them out that are power of three and power of four so try to submit all three of them and you will be good for this problem thank you so much we'll meet you in the next problem.